Laura Deal, and I just want to share with you something real quick today. We are, uh, right now it is the end of April, which means we're heading into May. We know what that means. May means Mother's Day, and that is one of the most difficult days of the year for us when we've lost a child. It, it ranks right up there with birthdays and the anniversary of the day our child left this earth. And um, we, uh, even if we have other children, we try to put on a happy face for them, but it's so hard to do when our hearts are so shattered into so many pieces. We're not going to get any calls, no cards, no hugs from our children. The closest thing we have is maybe visiting the cemetery that day to remember our child who's no longer here with us. And from one bereaved mom to another, I just really want to say you have my heart. And I want to give you permission to not go to church, to stay home that day if that's what you need to do, and not to feel guilty about it. It's, you know, church is a place where they're really good at honoring moms on Mother's Day, as it should be. But for us, it, it just feels like a slap in, in the face to remember um, the, the grief and the pain that we have. And, and people there are, you know, they want to help us, they want to try to fix us, they want to tell us what we should be thankful for when they see us crying or something, and, and um, it, it just, it doesn't work. We know that doesn't work, and unless you can bring me my child back, there's, there's nothing you can do to fix this. And um, at the same time, if you do have other children, um, they, they need to be able to honor us. They need to be able to bless us on Mother's Day. And so I want to urge you, if at all possible, to do both. Do what you need to grieve the loss of your child, um, but also um, ask God to give you the grace and the strength to carve out some time for your children to be able to celebrate you. One of the things that I've learned as a, a grieving parent is that siblings will take our grief as a, as a sign that we wish it was them that died instead of us. We know that's not true. It's just we're so broken and so shattered we can't function. And that happened to me with my daughter, actually. And so, um, you know, find, uh, find it within yourself. Ask God to give you the grace and the strength to spend a couple hours with your other children and, and allow them to celebrate you, if at all possible. Dave and I, we really want to bless you at this time. I just found out this morning that May 1st is actually International Bereaved Mother's Day. And then, of course, uh, May 8th is actually Mother's Day. And so from today until midnight on May 8th, we want to give you, um, bless you by giving you free shipping on any of our books that we have on our web store. We have the book When Tragedy Strikes. This actually will not be in bookstores. It will be in bookstores, but not until July 5th. But we do have it available as the author. You can purchase this from us, and it's to help you as a bereaved parent um, rebuild your life again with hope and healing. We have this book, My Grief Journey, just came out hot off the press. It's a, a coloring book and journal for you to help you work through um, the grief process of losing your child. And then we also have this book, um, Come Grieve Through Our Eyes, which I wrote um, kind of as a, a, a tool to hand to somebody and say, here, read this, and then come talk to me about, about my grief, about what I'm living through without my child. So it's... it's um, just something that you can give to other people that explains, tries to explain some of the things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. We have packages put together with reduced prices and as well. So if you want to go on to our website and check out our store, like I said, we, we just want to bless you somehow during this difficult time of year and, and offer you free ch shipping. So if you go to store.gpshope.com, Dot org, you'll find our, our bookstore there, and you don't need the www. So um, with that, let me just say, we are here to be a light of hope in your place of darkness.